DJB and you keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones. Hi guys. Please remember to like, subscribe and share the video. And in the news, security forces monitoring both Thailand following deadly gun attacks. The St. Andrew South Police are maintaining a strong presence in the Boat Island community located off Spanish Stone Road after what appears to be a series of deadly attacks on relatives of gangsters. The tit for tat murders and the shootings, which reportedly began last week, culminated in two women being killed in less than 24 hours, the latest occurring yesterday. A mother of four, the deceased has since been identified as Stephanie Boland. She is also a hairdresser, according to reports. Though the killing on Monday took place on Delamere Avenue, investigators say preliminary information connects the incident with Sunday's double murder in the Boat Island community. Police theorize that the woman was trailed to the location. Yesterday, gunmen shot and killed Boland as she went to collect her three-year-old child from school. You see the people in my dead Sunday? Them shouldn't dead. I'm not saying that anybody should die, but the community feel it for them because they never deserve it. That happened. And see it, she now. Everybody have to look out and some people are move out, a male resident said. Superintendent Damien Manderson, acting commander of St. Andrew South Police Division, said the police intelligence suggests the family members of suspects in the killings are targeted. Boland is believed to be the relative of a suspect in the double murder. On Sunday, 20-year-old Shakira Thomas and 21-year-old Tyler Taylor a Tyler, both of Bo Thailand, were shot and killed. Reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that Taylor and Thomas were at home when armed men entered an open gun fire, hitting the two multiple times. They were rushed to hospital where they were pronounced dead. More than 15 spent shells were found at the scene. It is understood that several shootings have been reported in the space, with women predominantly being the victims. The women are under attack in St. Andrew South. The people in the space are at odds, and they can't get who they really want, their turn on family and relatives. Women and children are the most vulnerable, an investigator said. Boland and her family were reportedly among those who moved out or took steps to relocate from the community after Sunday's murder and shooting. It is also understood that about three women have been killed in the field linked to the latest flare-up. The women are cowering in fear and the area was empty on Monday. According to police, they have picked up one man who goes by the alias Babyface for questioning in relation to the violence. The St. Andrew South Police Division recorded a 9% decline in murders up to June 30. Since the start of the year, 58 people have been killed in the division, compared to 64 for the corresponding period in 2022. The national murder toll was up to 655 yesterday. Wanted man escapes through window after cops raid Mobe home. The St. James police are reporting that a massive amount of ammunition, as well as lottery scamming paraphernalia, were seized during a pre-dawn operation at the residence of a wanted man in the parish on Tuesday. The intelligence-driven operation saw members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Jamaica Defense Force carrying out an extensive search of the residence of Kenra Roach, otherwise called Tickerweed, in Bogil in the parish. While a police source shared that Roach managed to escape through a window, the JCF said Tuesday morning's operation was impressive as they recovered 156 assorted ammunition rounds in a black one-gallon paint bucket that was stashed in a bathroom inside the premises. These included 49.44 caliber, 64.30 caliber, 42 8mm, and 1 9mm ammunition. Additionally, 27 letter sized sheets of paper and one cell phone containing identity information were reportedly discovered in Roach's bedroom. Upon the arrival of the police, Roach reportedly escaped through a window. Upon the arrival of the police, Roach reportedly escaped through a window. A detailed examination of his premises yielded a large haul of assorted ammunition, the well-placed police source said. A man on his underway for a roach, whose escape poses potential risk to public safety. This successful operation demonstrates the continued resolve of the security forces in dismantling illegal activities and bringing perpetrators to justice, the source added. Anyone with information that can assist in the investigation is being asked to contact the Montego Bay Police at 876-953-6191. Crime Stop at 311, the NIB tip line at 811, the Police 119 number or the nearest police station. Individuals are also reminded that harboring a fugitive is a crime. Cops condemn killing of cattle thieves in St. Anne. 
The Senton police on Monday condemned the mob attack of two accused scatter thieves who were chopped to death by residents of Wattown in the parish. The deceased have been identified as 28-year-old Demar Rose, a construction worker of Hague, Falmouth, and 46-year-old O'Neill Robinson, a taxi operator of Martha Bray, both in Trelawney. According to Sloots, about 9.30 a.m., Rose and Robinson were driving in a grey Voxy minibus along with men in a black Axio motor car. They allegedly went into the district of Gibraltar, stole and killed one cow and eight goats, and then placed the carcasses in the Voxy minibus. Police report that citizens saw what happened and raised an alarm. Further reports reveal that the residents blocked the main thoroughfare in a bid to accost the men, but were allegedly attacked with handguns by the men in the Axio motor car who then managed to escape. According to cops, the Voxy minibus in which Rose and Robinson were traveling developed mechanical problems. It is alleged that the accused thieves exited the vehicle with machetes and were beaten and chopped by the residents. Senior Superintendent Powell said that the vehicle in which the deceased were traveling is now in police custody. The vehicle reportedly had the carcasses of goats and a bull. Police say they suspect the value of the stolen animals is well over $1 million. The Senton commanding officer went on to condemn the actions of the Watton residents. I must remind the residents of St. Anne that mob killing is still murder, and we condemn these kinds of incidents. We have been working as cities with the farmers in these rural communities and on a weekly basis. We're in touch with them, ensuring and giving them vital security tips to secure their possessions. So this matter will be vigorously investigated, and those persons that are responsible when they are identified will be brought to answer to the offense of murder, SSP Powell said. He added that residents should cooperate with law enforcement officials to secure lives, property and livestock. Mark 10 submachine gun seized in St. Thomas. Police in St. Thomas seized a Mark 10 submachine 9mm gun during a snap parade in Needham Pen in the parish on Monday. Reports from the Murray Bay Police are that about 3 p.m. the lawmen who were acting on information conducted an operation in the area when the gun was found and seized. The serial number was erased, police said. No one has been arrested in relation to the seizure. Investigations are ongoing. Mentally ill man being sought for chopping senior citizen. A mentally ill man is being sought by the police after he allegedly chopped a senior citizen multiple times in Bogwalk, St. Catherine, on Monday. The victim remains hospitalized in critical condition. It is reported that about 8 a.m., the 64-year-old man was riding along the Nollis Main Road in Bogwalk when the mentally ill man hit him from his bicycle. The attacker then used a machete to chop the victim repeatedly. The senior citizen suffered multiple wounds to the head and upper body. He was rescued and taken for medical attention. The attacker fled the scene and is being sought by the Bogwalk police. It was murder. Cops will labor man's death after autopsy. Police have upgraded a case of undetermined death to murder. Following the autopsy on a decomposed body found at El Thorminotrius, sent and back in May. The body, which is still unidentified, was found by residents with its face unrecognizable. It was reported that about 4 p.m. on May 3, 2023, residents smelled a foul odor and summoned the police. When the police arrived at the location, the face on the male body, which is believed to be in his 30s, was beyond recognition. The scene was processed and the police subsequently declared it an undetermined death. The body was then taken to the morgue for post-mortem examination. Following the post-mortem on Friday, gunshot wounds to the head were determined as the cause of death. The police have relabeled the death as murder and have since launched an investigation. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.